Hello there YouTube. This is the second part. We got this done. It's kind of self-explanatory. These screws go through here. This plastic is threaded. So you got to be careful not to strip it out. And they go and they tighten against the rod. And the rod is connecting to this piece and the top piece. Okay. The bottom's done. I showed it before. I did try to squish those two nuts together so that makes that flat. If I can get over here where it shows it better. The nuts on top. I tried to make it flatter with that U shaped piece of metal so it'll be really tight. And when I tuned this, that's where it ended up. not quite straight across, it's more to the left. Okay now, I'm going to put this on the... We may have this put up in the air tomorrow. That's approximately where it ended up at. Can't switch to telemacro while I'm filming. Says 145 megahertz, 147. I set it for 146. I split the difference. I did the math and split the difference. Okay, so you can pause on that if anybody has one of these. These are instructions for a Ringo Ranger, not this ARX 450. That has a different piece. When you measure, measure from this that black piece of plastic to the very tip. That is B, the top. When you measure the bottom, measure from this plastic down to the top of the plastic down here. Sorry if it ain't in focus. I measure from the plastic to the plastic. And I will include a couple pictures at the end so this comes in clear. But that's about it. There ain't much to one of these. I covered most of the cleaning and everything, and I thought I'd show this piece, how it threads through the plastic, where I ended up on this to tune it. Now, there's one model I had instructions that tells you to, to slide this up and down, but this one doesn't work that way. I even experimented and did that last night. I was outside with a flashlight. I was so enthused about getting it tuned, but I will put some pictures at the end. Thanks for watching. Then we'll have a little short video once I get the thing up in the air on my little tower.